Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. And today we're talking about doing some green screen inside of the edit page. This is maybe not the most fancy, amazing, perfect green screen that you'll ever do, but it's certainly good enough for a quick and dirty kind of comp. And you don't even have to get into the fusion page. Isn't that neat? Isn't that, hey, isn't that neat? Here's a video I got off the information superhighway of Nana thinking. I don't know what she's thinking about, probably about cookies because Nanas do that. I'm just saying, it's probably likely. So to get rid of this green screen, we're gonna use an effect called 3D Keyer. Here in the effects library, if you don't have this up, make sure to click on this little button right here so it's bright white. Down under open effects, if we scroll down to resolve effects key, there's something called a 3D Keyer. This is a relatively new thing for the edit page and it's a little better than anything else that we had available. And I'd say it's pretty good for stuff like this. I'll grab 3D Keyer and drag that onto nanathinks.mov and now nothing happens, yay. So let's select this and go up to the inspector. And here in the inspector with the nanathinks.mov selected, we'll click on effects. And under open effects, we have our 3D keyer. Now, this is where the magic happens. And before magic happens, you wanna make sure that down in the lower left-hand corner of your preview window, under this little button thing here, make sure open effects overlay is on. So it should say effects and it should be bright white. If you don't do that, things won't work. So now to select this green, all we have to do is click on this little plus eyedropper and drag a little bit over the green. And cast, look at that, it's pretty, it's pretty good so far. We got Nana's kitchen in the background and everything, but there's a problem. Things are a little bit green. One way to be able to tell, even though you can kind of just tell, is to scroll down to where it says output final composite and switch this to alpha highlight BW. This is a way to look at your mat. Anytime that you are adjusting transparency, what you're really doing is adjusting a black and white image that controls an image's transparency. And what you really want for something like this is pure black and pure white. And look at all this gray and stuff here. We don't want that. What that's gonna do is make everything look terrible. So to get rid of that, we can go over here to our plus eyedropper and just drag over where it's gray. So now we should have just pure black and pure white and we'll switch back over from alpha highlight to final composite. And now we have a much better looking background, but there's a problem, look at this. Look at all this green in her hair and stuff. That looks, that looks terrible. What are we, what are we doing? There's a magic little button called despill. And if you click that, it gets rid of all of the green and stuff and it just, man, it really cleans it up. Look at that. Now this isn't perfect. This isn't the world's best mat. You can do a little bit of work on it under matte finesse here. You can push up this clean black and that will clean up some of her hair, you can clean white a little bit, and you can even adjust this in out ratio and just push it in just a little bit. And that's gonna help with this mat quite a bit, but you're still gonna get kind of this little gray halo and stuff around her without a lot more work and finessing. And honestly, something like this is about what you're gonna get in the edit page. So if you're doing something that doesn't have to look 100% totally realistic, it's okay that it's a green screen, something like a news program, or if you're you know, taking out green for a gaming video and stuff, it's probably fine. This is a nice quick and dirty way to remove your green screen. If you do wanna make this a little bit nicer without a ton more work, you can also go to the color page and do some color correction. And really what we need to do is match the brightness and saturation of our foreground to our background. So something like that might look a little bit better. Back in the edit, it doesn't look quite so weird. Then of course you could put an adjustment clip over everything to kind of change all of the colors all together. There you have a decent kind of quick and dirty green screen composite right here in the edit page. So there you go. If you're looking for a quick and dirty green screen, that's how you do it. If you want more videos on DaVinci Resolve, right here is where you want to click. I have been Casey Ferris. That's, that's me. I'm the one, I'm the one behind the computer. Nana is the one thinking about cookies. She does think about them. She loves them so much.